Hello, this is Hugged Bean, and today we are going to level 178 of the back rooms. If you like this level, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival difficulty class zero. Safe, secure, devoid of entities. Level 178 is the 179th level of the back rooms. Described as a looping traditional Machia house with a hot spring that is devoid of entities. Description Level 178 is, is a, a looping Machia house whose walls and floors are crafted from wood. One notable feature of this level is that it is devoid of entities and has both food, almond water, and clothes hanging in certain areas, serving as a base for many people to live in for, for re, or for or explorers to restock, shower, and eat. Various methods can be used to enter it, including finding a house in level 11 or by sleeping in level 7. The level has multiple sections, a courtyard with a hot spring in the center, a wraparound porch, kitchens, the main area, showers and bathrooms, and bedrooms. The main area is usually the, mo the spot most travelers end up in. It is flat, a notable warm scent of bamboo, and wood radiating through your level. Most doors are slid open, allowing for navigation. The sound of trickling water and flute music can sometimes be heard somewhere in the level. Floors usually have carpet or wood surfaces, and open area air studio rooms can be found in certain areas. Samurai swords and weapons hung up in cabinets and Oji lanterns illuminate rooms. Closets can be found on housing hung up kimonos and pairs of gates that can be worn. Traveling through the central area can lead to the other sections. The kitchens can be reached by going through a sliding door made of glass and wood comprising a narrow room with kitchen appliances such as taps, a refrigerator, cupboards, and an oven. Almond water and food can be found here, all of which is safe to eat. And prepared meals can be found in the refrigerators with a list of meals lightly prepared by the sector of, of Amaterasu. A door to the right leads to a dining area with a lantern hung above a short wooden table. Mats to sit on below, another door leads out to the porch. 178's wraparound porch is visible from multiple areas in the level, bringing a square shape being a square shape surrounding the courtyard and facing the hot spring in the center. Lanterns are typically hung from the curved roof. The courtyard and porch are stuck in a time loop that appears as early morning, the cutting plants and a gentle trickling of water heard from all angles. A set of small waterfalls flowing from under the porch lead to the hot spring, which is safe to use and soak in. Shoji style doors to the rest of the sections of the level can be accessed from the yard area. One door leads to a closet full of warm towels that can be used to dry off or be worn in the hot spring. Sleeping in the hot spring can either lead to level 66 or level 132. Bedrooms can be accessed through the main area or by traveling through the showers and bathrooms area. Watercolor artwork and windows line the walls of the bedrooms, some having views of the porch and courtyard. Futons are spread on the floor that are safe to sleep in. Wooden staircases lead to more bedrooms. The showers and bathrooms can be used safely. And here is file Amaterasu MP4. It isn't an actual video, by the way. Don't worry. The video begins with a shaky camera before focusing on a young, tall man in purple tulip, in a purple tulip dotted kimono, his dark, fluffy hair tied into a small ponytail. He is sitting on a couch. Behind him, an ace flag is pinned to the wall and a pitcher of almond water rests on the floor. The shit on? I'm not losing footage like yesterday whenever I tried to get you to film. Helmet for me. And it turned out you didn't even take off the lens cover. Stupid crush goblin. Damn it, Philip. Well, it's off, and you're recording. Once it's taken to the MEG and broadcast, you're going to be ruined. Well, I just had to look directly at you, and guess what? Now my eyes are ruined. Let's just get this done. 
Yep, after this, I'm taking a cashew bath and asking the nearest memory worm to remind me of, of whenever I didn't know you. Okay, well, you want to announce the update? This is going to be monumental to Wanderers. Hello, everyone. Hell is real, and it was built right here. Recently, talks with the folks over at the Order have gone better than expected, despite the efforts of my best friend here. And we've not only secured an agreement, but some new, very real objects of interest. Now I'm aware that level 11 is probably going to be everyone's go-to spot to live in, even though you have to slash your way through 9, and that most wanderers would rather live in a, in a city level where they could no-clip out accidentally, and end up, up two ways past Tuesday in its dangerous level, rather than live on raids, cooking, and hang, hang with us in the weave level. It's probably Philip, right? Really? Wow. 178, as the article says, is safe and has no entities, in a way. It may be closer to home than 11, for that matter. It's not trap level. Seriously, everything is true. There's no danger except for exiting into a dangerous level like that sub-layer or the swamp one. Despite my best efforts, Adhira still wants to live her days in the class 3 level and only see me during grease stalking. She's always been a wide-eyed idealist like that, wanting to help everyone. No one like that really makes it here. No, we're not compared to 11 habitation. I don't believe in that calculator. I tried to go through 11 through 9. I almost lost my leg. Okay, Lunchbox. Look, talks have been going well. The order is okay with an egg, with an egg base. It's if anyone wants to create one. We agreed to arm a sorry conglomerate and have established these hooks on the walls to lay rope so we can navigate and trade easier. Going further in this level helps you find other things. Some of our traders and cartographers have been trying to map out this level and traveling far into the kitchens. And they, didn't, and they didn't just have the rice and almond water, which they had found in most pantries. There were some kitchens full of spices, others of food. One had a package of a Donsalon. Reminded of hope. And in my mom's hurry. Looking around that side, it looks like our menu is about to get a little more broad. I'm certainly happy to make chicken parm again. Enough with the food, enough! We're making villages and trade. In order to enter this level, this fall I hope you find and I'm sure you'll find a village or some human presence. We've reached agreements with the Order quicker and even among them in years. Shade intended! But beyond progress, there's something new and really bad. What's this first message? Philip, you can turn it off now. We all know you want to get it all drunk. The message ends. Oh, that was interesting, to say the least. Basis, Outposts, and Communities Order of the Sun Goddess A base for the group known as the Lost that resides in the central area. A few members can speak both Japanese and English, as well as their own language. Helpful and live permanently in this level, but not open to new members. Allies with the sector, she communicates with the group frequently. Around 12 individuals are part of this base. All either from the Lost Mayans, the New Pantheon, or the Dragon's Gate. The Sector of Amaterasu. Base is distributed around level. Largest group in level 178. Central bases in central bases in the studio room to kiss themselves and for travel. Have a travel station near them and have recently no clip travelers either live or travel through level. Leader of the group is named Erawan. Era one. There are also similar, more temporary groups of people who inhabit this level who are either, who are either too small to, or lack the structure required to be considered a community. Recently, talks between the small clan and the sector are considering the site in the 178 due to the lack of any easy structure of such a level. Entrances and exits. Entrances. One traveler entered level 178. And then level 127 while being chased by a wall scraper and collect either with a wall. Passing through it and entering a wide room in 178. Methodism of entering includes sleeping in level 7, which has a very rare chance of successfully waking up in the hot springs of what level 178. Entering wooden building in level 138, or traveling far into level 11 and seeing a Machia house in the distance, which is the safest entrance to use. Exit. It's there are currently four methods of exit to exit level one seventy eight. 
These include staying in the hospital and falling asleep, which causes you to end up in level 66 or level 32. Go clipping directly into a darker looking wall takes you to the level you were in before. Another is to travel through the level for a few weeks to see a small room with an exit sign, which leads to level 138. If you swim down a hot spring, you will end up in level 138.1. And finally, through a pain one of the kitchens, the anti everybody bowling alley. This one, I think, is actually not a thing. Is this still a site? Huh. Kind of assumed that this wasn't real. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it doesn't exist. That's unfortunate. Anyway, additional files. The following was sent to U Omega Base Beta in Air One by an unidentified member of the Order of the Sun Goddess. Hello, Meg Echelons. It's Air One, and you don't want them to know who you are. You're sure? All right, buddy. Jenner shouldn't be disclosed. Well, that's fine. Of course, you have blue hair and pronouns. That was funny. I like my blue hair. It makes you look like a blackberry. Anyways, the Order in the Sector have been talking, and we found something big. Don't let other groups know about this, though. I don't want this shit getting away from us, especially due to bureaucratic error in a place like this. Currently, the rest of the Lost doesn't know about this, so little things we're finding include ingredients we previously didn't know about far in the level, establishing a no, what, network, whatever, just look at the video we sent. Syria and Riven are working on an objects article to update you guys. Look there, it's weird. Come to Kyoto Dreams. Was this formatted right? Damn you, Philip. <laughs> the way it ends was really funny. Anyway, that was level 178. Pretty interesting level with a really interesting house design. I always did a kind of... I, after watching an anime for a little while, I've always kind of wanted to live in a house like that, but I know I'm never going to. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!